Hello everyone. Today we're going to dive into the debugger and see how step into differentiates between step over. So first thing we need to do is drop that breakpoint in and then start our code. So my first example here uh, if you haven't seen the previous video where we built this, uh, it would probably be good to watch it, but it's not necessary. So let's run this and see if our debugger picks it up. It does. That's good. So I'm going to first do step over here. So I did step over on the button. That's expected behavior. I step over here and then my program's done and we get our value. That's not very useful. So let's do the same thing except let's do step into. Okay, now we're on the method. Step into goes into the method. And now we can follow we can follow this operation variable that we sent in this button.txt, we'll be able to see it as it goes, as we go deeper down the rabbit hole. Uh, we, we took the red pill, we're going deeper into the rabbit hole here, like Alice in Wonderland, right? So here we have operation add, and just like we usually use our debugger for, now we're able to follow this parameter. So this will be really useful if you're ever having trouble and you really need to dive far deeper into the code. You can use the step into function. And now we can also use, let's show the step out function. So I stepped into that function. If I step out, it pulls me out of the function right away. So you can see I went into update result label, but now that it just it ran through all that code. So I step I accidentally step into perhaps. Now I can step out. So I don't have to click through every single operation there. And now the code finishes. And the same would be true as if I was nested. So let's get into the calculate from text box values. Let's say I didn't want to go into this method because it has a really long loop. I can step out of that method, but still continue update result label. So I don't have to, if I'm going from a method into a method, if I want to just exit the second method, not the first method, then that's also possible. So that's a quick rundown of how to use the debugger step into and step out, which in this case is F11 and Shift F11, two very useful uh, ways to maneuver your code and find errors. So thanks for watching. That's all for now. Take care.